think some some have a, a very ignorant stereotype of them. They don't really know them, so they just have based off of what maybe media goes by. Um, that they're terrorists. That yeah, really just the terrorists. That's really about it that I can think of. Terroristic. Sorry, that's true. Um, so you, you do believe in that, or? Most, I mean, there are some that are, and then there are others who can actually be very good. There's probably an ignorant stereotype um, of, it's probably a view of like a blending Arabs and Islamists, Arabs and Islam um, extremists into, let me rephrase that. They pretty much view a lot of Middle Eastern countries as terrorists, even though they're not. It's the extremists that basically are the ones that are getting the attention, so that we're, we're viewing them as the only thing that's going on in that country. Basically, most of the stereotypes are around, you know, terrorism. And, you know, like, look out for them when they're in the airport or whatever. Um, and, uh, um, I forget, I forget. Um, well, and sometimes they're mostly rich. I, I know in some commercials they, they've been seen as being really rich and wealthy and have a lot of women. And really, and they're sometimes seen as as um, using women as a, as kind of a, a sub, like a subordinate or such or something like that. That's what I, that's, that's kind of what's what I do. And you guys have to, um, I don't know what you guys call them, you guys have to uh, cover your, your yourselves in society, right? Yeah. 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 But I'm not veiled. Yeah. No. But I mean, yeah. You, sure. Yeah. Stereotypes. Um, brown skin, um, turbans. Um, you, I think of the Middle East. I think uh, Saudi Arabia and e Egypt and you know Syria and Afghanistan and Pakistan and areas like that. Um. You know, stereotypes, I'd say pretty same as most Americans, you know, you know hate America, um, you know, just despise anyone who, you know, looks like me, seems American, uh, hate what I stand for, uh, you know, all, everyone's Islam, is, is a Muslim, you know, just things like that. I guess those are the stereotypes. Stereotypes that I used to have? Mm -hmm. um, well, growing up uh, with a family who was kind of prejudiced against anybody who wasn't white. Uh, basically the stereotypes that are associated with 9-11 and things like that. All the bad ones. But not anymore. But like what? Like, uh, don't trust anybody who's Arab, you know? Um. Not that I have, but I know that, like growing up in New York, September 11th, that was horrible, done by horrible people, but that wasn't the extent of what Americans, when they think of the Middle East, you know, they, they, they group everyone, a huge region, as just the Middle East. I don't know, is there a difference? Uh, um, I, I learned that Muslims are, they follow Islam. And that's and it's like it's religion based. Like it's just it's just, it's just a religion. And Arabs are this they're a race of people, I believe. Um, Barack Obama's a Muslim, right? I believe so. Yes, he is a Muslim. So, and I think he's I thought he was black. He's mixed with something. Muslims and uh, Arabs and Arabs. Are want to see mm. you tried something? I'm not sure. Most yeah. time. Didn't work with it. Uh, with the company or a product launch. I don't know. The, they use a quota? <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. I don't really <laughs> don't know. So, quota or uh, Mohammed Ali? But I don't know the difference. Hey, what about Arabs? Arabs? They speak Arabic? I don't know. And they have a, they have a strict 
Uh, rules of the religion, they can show, so, the woman can show their skin or something? Not necessarily, no. But what's the difference? Um, I guess it has to do with an ethnicity um, in a religion. So, I'm not sure what the definite word is for the religion, if it's Islamic or Muslim. I'm pretty sure it's Muslim. But, um, I mean, anyone can necessarily be a Muslim if they practice the study. But not everyone can be an Arab. Like, I'm not Arab. It's just, that's not me. Um, but if I choose to be Muslim, then it's because what, it's, it's what I'm practicing. Okay, Arab is a culture, right? Okay. And Muslim just means that you practice Islam. Um, for a long time, I did use those words interchangeably, and now I realize that it's not right. I'm still trying to make sure I understand the distinction, but I know that saying someone's Arab and saying someone, uh, and then turn around and say, yo, they're Muslim, is not the same thing. It's two, it's two distinctions. I'm still learning those distinctions, but I know that that's not what I should say. So what's, for you, Arab, what's the difference here from Muslim? Um, Arab, I've, I've realized just like, is like a American, like it's like more like a nation type thing versus just one specific place. So your Arab, um, Kurd, you know, not necessarily saying, well, because you're because you're a Muslim, you are an Arab, because that's not that's not the correct. Muslim is I understand it to be just the faith. Um, your religious, like your, like your religious affiliation makes you a Muslim. So you can be. American and be a Muslim. You can be Indonesian and be a Muslim. Doesn't mean you're an Arab. Not all Arabs are Muslim, and not all Muslims are Arab. In fact, you know, most Muslims are not Arab. Uh, so, and that, but I think that is a stereotype that just is rampant throughout the United States. That you know, as soon as you hear the word Arab, you think Muslim. And um, so, I, I recognize the difference, but at the same time, you know, that um, it's definitely something you know you think of when you first hear Arab. You're like, oh, Muslim. So. You know, there's obviously a general public, and obviously they're not all like that. It's like if Christians um, were viewed as all the people in the Westboro Baptist Church, they're you know they're not like uh, a lot of the Christians that are on campus or in America. So it's a small group that makes up a general view, I guess. No, I don't think Arabs are terrorists, which is a comment for a lot of people believe that. But I don't think all Arabs are terrorists. Why? Just, I mean, that's like another person like in Latin America saying that all Americans are terrorists. Or, you know, for us to say that anyone who agrees with communism are terrorists. Do you think all Arabs are terrorists? Well, no, um, I think that's like saying all, uh, you know, Christians you know, or like the Westboro Baptist Church, you know, I, uh, they're not, everyone's radical. Um, of course, you're going to have those factions. You're going to have radical people in any aspect of life. Um, but uh, as for, I think that the Islamic religion, Islam itself has gotten a really bad rap by maybe the two, one to two percent who choose to use radical measures to get what they want to advance their agenda. So most Muslims are peaceful, you know, want nothing but to go about their lives and just be, you know, exist like everyone else. No. 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 You know. Because that was a particular, specific group. And, you know, Christians have had the Crusades. And so for someone to say all Christians are terrorists or cruel, that would not be right. And so you just have to understand that the few cannot and should not define the many ever. And so no, I don't. Go, I just can't. I nope. I don't believe it. And you can't believe it. I mean, you can't know for certain. Like there could be a warped reality where all Arabs were terrorists, but I highly doubt I live on that on that you know universe. <laughs> When I was in basic training, uh, a lot of 
discriminatory terms were used, like such as uh, before I started taking Arabic classes. Like I, I hadn't been exposed to anybody Arab or Muslim uh, beforehand. But uh, the drill sergeants would always say, uh, if we were doing a drill for squat attacks and stuff like that, they'd say, "All right, we've got two ragheads or two camel jockeys or something out there that you know we need to take care of." But now, I mean, that kind of I feel really offensive just saying that to you, so, but just to express, now I wouldn't even say that, or like Haji or something, because that, that has a direct reference to their religion. Go, like my preconception about going over to Egypt, I thought it was going to be a very hostile environment, but that's not the case. Um, I think both everywhere in the world is just made up of people who just want to go about their lives in the most peaceful way possible, and um, I would say that those... While there are tensions that exist, they're not on an everyday basis, you know, you don't go around worrying about them. But, I mean, we have some social issues here in America that are, uh, you know, prominent that we need to take care of and focus on. Prejudiced against because this kind of reputation that uh, they, uh, the kind of just stereotype that's been built after 9-11, you know, I'm sure they've been discriminated against. Just really just, uh, I, I think it probably has been hard for a lot of, you know, Arab immigrants who, you know, just try to go about their lives, but, you know, a lot of people, when they see them, they get scared, or, you know, get on a plane, you see someone who may, might look Arab, you, you know, people get a little nervous, and, you know, that's, that's not right, and unfortunately, that's the case in a lot of um, circumstances. Educate yourself before you uh, start generalizing an entire population of people. <laughs> um, never, I mean, it's going to sound, I'm sure it's sound, uh, liberal or not, but I mean, you can't trust all media, you've got to get information from a source, um, and you've got to decide if that information is viable for yourself, so that you can back up your opinion, not just, you know, speaking off the top of my head, um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think that's a good way to approach the debate. And after this Boston explosion, you didn't have a first, you know, like, glimpse. Do you, you want to know what my first thought was? I thought, heaven forbid, this is the US, U.S. government creating hysteria so that they'll have net national support to attack North Korea. That was my first thought. It was a conspiracy. <laughs> it was a conspiracy of my own country. And so I saw your Facebook status mm -hmm. that there was someone saying, kill all, what was it? Kill all Muslims. Muslims, because they had something to do with the Boston Marathon. And I just was like, oh my, are we, God, like, I don't know, I feel like 9-11, it was, it was horrible, and not to joke about it, but because it was one of the many, the first attack in a long time on our own soil, it has scarred a lot of people, where if anything, even comes close to that happening to them or onto our soil, it must be these amazing jihadists who somehow got through our, you know, military protected system once and they only they can go through. I mean, no, I mean, it's just ridiculous. I honestly thought it was my own government. I don't know. Or even North Korea, like North Korea before Muslims, like, if, you know, based on what we're hearing in the news now, but no. 9/11 is is burned in their in their mind and their repertoire of attack and terrorists. That's all they can pull out. Not even thinking about domestic terrorists. That's not on their minds. And that's sad. And it's crazy that that's the paradigm that we're in right now, as far as domestic protection and thoughts of international threats. Always Muslims. Why?